Protecting your home from unhealthy smoke can be achieved through learning safe burning techniques. An estimated 12 million wood stoves are still in existence in the United States. Used as a primary source of heat in homes, wood stoves have certain requirements for proper use. To safely burn wood inside the home, there first must be an EPA certified appliance properly installed. New certified models sold after 1992 produce 2 to 7 grams of smoke per hour versus the older stoves that produce 15 to 30 grams per hour, so upgrading to a newer model can easily cut down the amount of smoke released in the stove. Only burn dry, well seasoned wood. Seasoned wood must be left outside for at least 6 months before use and looks dark, sounds hollow, and has cracks in the end. Wood should be stored outside of the home, stacked and covered, to avoid bringing in insects, spores, dust, and mold that can aggravate allergies. To start the fire, newspaper and small dry twigs can be used, but never burn gasoline, kerosene, or use charcoal starters or propane torches. Burning a hot fire is safer and more efficient than letting it smolder. Keeping the doors of the stove closed as much as possible, opening them only for loading or stoking the fire, will prevent pollutants from entering into your home. The proper burning of wood produces smoke with harmful chemicals, including carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide poisoning related to fuel burning in the home is estimated to cause 150 deaths per year. Finally, remove the ashes regularly using a covered metal container and store them outside away from the house. Masonry and low mass fireplaces are used as secondary sources of heat. Masonry fireplaces are traditionally built with brick or stone in the home while low-mass fireplaces are built before being installed in the home. Dangers attributed to wood smoke can affect anyone anywhere. The greatest concern of smoke is particle pollution produced during the burning of wood. When you breathe in smoke, you are putting your health at risk due to the aggravating particles that enter into the respiratory system and could lead to lung or heart disease or severe bronchitis. 